In the previous video, we discussed about the tuberculosis and its pathophysiology. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the molecular mechanism in tuberculosis disease. Basically, we will try to understand how tuberculosis disease fights or interacts with immune system. That is the tuberculosis versus immune system. We know that the tuberculosis disease is caused by a bacterium known as mycobacterium tuberculosis. So to be more precise, it is the mycobacteria versus the macrophage of our immune system, the alveolar macrophage. As we have already seen the pathophysiology of tuberculosis disease in the previous video where this mycobacteria goes through the air passage and resides in our pulmonary alveoli. And in the pulmonary alveoli, the mycobacteria is captured by the macrophage into phagosome through a process known as phagocytosis. And in macrophage, the fate of phagosome is to get fused with lysosome in order to degrade the mycobacteria in phagolysosome. But these all immune functions and processes are inhibited by the mycobacterium. So neither there is any fusion nor any formation of phagolysosome. And the bacteria survives in macrophage and replicates in the immune cell. And we say it's the macrophage parasitism. While the host is here, our immune cell, that is the macrophage and parasite is in the form of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now let's dig into it and see how this mycobacteria outsmarts our immune system at molecular level. The immune suppression by mycobacteria tuberculosis has various mechanisms. The first is the inhibition of phagosome maturation, which involves the inhibition of phagosome acidification. The second one is the inhibition of phagolysosome formation. That is the inhibition of fusion of phagosome with lysosome. This mycobacteria does not allow this fusion of phagosome with lysosome. And the third important one is the inhibition of interferon production by macrophages, which drives through the CGAS molecule inhibition by mycobacterium. Now let's discuss each of these mycobacterium survival methods one by one. The acidification inhibition is the important aspect for the survival of mycobacterium inside the phagosome. Under normal conditions, the V ATPase pump pumps the protons into phagosome to increase the acidity of phagosome, which marks the maturation of phagosome. But the mycobacterium releases a protein called PTPA protein, that's protein tyrosine phosphatase. And it's this PTPA protein that binds to subunit H of V ATPase, which inhibits the activity of V ATPase, thus ultimately inhibits the process of phagosome acidification. Now the second survival method used by mycobacterium to evade our immune system is the inhibition of phagolysosome formation. In this process, the phagosome and lysosome inside the macrophage are devoid of fusion with which the bacteria survives inside the phagosome. For a fusion to occur, the phagosome has got Rab5 protein on it. And it exchanges this Rab5 protein for Rab7 protein, which marks the phagosome for fusion with lysosome. Once Rab5 is exchanged for Rab7, it initiates this pathway for phagolysosome formation. But the phagosome encapsulating bacteria recruits Rab22A protein which prevents the Rab5 exchange for Rab7, thus inhibiting the formation of phagolysosome. Also, there is another protein called TACO protein present on the phagosome. The detachment of TACO protein leads to the delivery of phagosome towards lysosome. But in case of tuberculosis, the TACO protein is retained on phagosome, which halts the fusion also. Now, the last one is the inhibition of interferon production. There is a C gas molecule inside the macrophages which detects the foreign DNA and activates sting pathway. And it's this sting pathway which initiates the production of interferon in macrophage. But when there is no degradation, no lysis of foreign DNA, how come the C gas molecule is going to detect any foreign DNA? So there will be no detection, there will be no interferon production because there will be no sting pathway. So this is how the mycobacterium tuberculosis survives inside the macrophage, leading to the macrophage parasitism.
the immune system tries to search for the mycobacterium tuberculosis outside its own cells because the mycobacterium uses the immune system cells to replicate. This is how smart this mycobacterium is. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.